Simone Bocanegra by Giuseppe Verdi. The synopsis is presented by Opera Inside, the online opera guide. The Roles Simone Bocanegra, a corsair in the service of the Republic of Genoa and later Doge. Amelia, illegitimate daughter of Bocanegra. Fiesco, leader of the Patricians, who lives later disguised as Andrea. Gabriele, leader of the Patricians and lover of Amelia. Paolo, leader of the Plebeians. Pietro, leader of the Plebeians and alive Paolo. A square in front of the Doge's palace in Genoa. Two Plebeian leaders talk about the next Doge of Genoa. They want to break the power of the Patricians. Paolo offers Pietro wealth if he succeeds in helping his candidate to the office. His plan is to have Simone Bocanegra as his puppet in office. Simone is popular with the people, since he liberated Genoa's coasts from the pirates. Pietro accepts and leaves the square to summon Bocanegra. Paolo offers the office of the doge to the summoned Simone. When Simone refuses, Pietro explains to him that as a doge he would be able to free his beloved Maria from her captivity. The doge Fiesco, the leader of the patricians, had his daughter Maria locked away in the palace, who bore an illegitimate child with Bocanegra. Simone then agrees to run for the plebeians. Pietro then goes off and rallies a crowd of citizens in the square to promote the candidacy of Bocanegra. Fiesco steps out of his palace stricken with grief. His daughter has just died in the rooms of the palace. He reproaches himself that he could not protect her and curses her seduce of Bocanegra. Bocanegra enters the square and Fiesco recognizes his hated adversary. He is driven by a blind hatred of the Corsair. Simone, who does not know about Maria's death, wants to reconcile with him. But Fiesco is relentless. Only if Bocanegra would let him their daughter, would peace be possible. Simone has to make him the terrible admission, that the girl he had hidden in the care of a nurse, has been abducted and he does not know her whereabouts. But Fiesco is not ready to reconcile with him, until his granddaughter is in his hands. Simone wants to enter the palace to see Maria. Fiesco lets him in. He learns the terrible news and collapses. Paolo and Pietro appear triumphantly and declare that Simon has won the election. The people hails him as the new doge. At dawn in the Grimaldi Palace. Twenty years have passed since Maria died. Simone's daughter Amelia sits in front of the Grimaldi Palace and awaits the arrival of her lover Gabriele. She remembers her childhood and her nurse. Gabriele appears. He is the secret leader of the rebellious patricians and therefore an enemy of the state. Amelia fears for his life and asks him to leave politics. A messenger appears and announces the doge's imminent arrival. The doge wants to promote the marriage of Isolai Paolo to Amelia. Amelia leaves to call Father Andrea, who is to marry them as soon as possible. She doesn't know that Father Andrea is in fact Fiesco in hiding. Father Andrea comes and tells Gabriele the secret of Amelia. She is in fact not a Grimaldi, but an orphan from a monastery who was adopted by the Grimaldi when their daughter died. Thus she is of lowly rank. For Gabriele, this makes no difference. Trumpets announce the arrival of the Doge. Amelia receives him. The Doge tells her that he has pardoned her exiled brothers as proof of his goodwill. Amelia tells him now her secret that she is not a native Grimaldi, but was once raised as an orphan by a nurse. Before her death she gave her a locket with the portrait of her mother and shows it to him. Bocanegra is thunderstruck. He takes a portrait of Maria from his pocket and Amelia recognizes the same picture as in her locket. The two realize that they are father and daughter and fall into each other arms in tears. Paolo awaits the doge and eagerly awaits his answer. Give up all hope, is Simone's succinct reply. Paolo refuses to accept this and secretly commissions Pietro to kidnap Amelia. In the council chamber of Genoa. The council is discussing policy towards the rival from Venice. Simone proposes a covenant with the Venetians. He doesn't want a war between brothers. But Paolo and the plebeians want war. Suddenly a tumult rings out from the nearby palace of the Fieschi. 
The councillors jump to the window. A mob follows Gabriella and Andrea and approaches the council building. Paolo and Pietro suspect that the kidnapping plot failed and want to flee. But Bocanegra has the doors of the council building closed. He lets Gabriella come in. Gabriella explains that he has killed a plebeian who tried to kidnap Amelia. On his deathbed, the villain confessed to having acted on behalf of a powerful man. Gabriella accuses Simon of being the mastermind and wants to pounce on him. Amelia rushes in and tells of the kidnapping. When she looks at Paolo and claims that the instigator is in the room at this moment, a commotion breaks out. The doge addresses the rival parties with a big speech to keep them united. Gabriella is now convinced of Simone's innocence and hands him his sword. The doge turns to Paolo, the leader of the plebeians. Threateningly, he claims to know the name of the conspirator and that he should curse the vile one together with everyone present. Then Paolo flees the council chamber in horror. In the doge's study. Pietro and Paolo are sitting over maps. Paolo is still shocked from the curse he himself had to cast, forced by the doge, who owes his office to him. He takes poison from a cupboard and pours it into the cup of the absent doge. Paolo summons the two prisoners Fiesco and Gabriele. Consumed by hatred for Bocanegra, he offers Fiesco the power. His condition is that he must kill the doge. When Fiesco refuses, he has him taken back to the dungeon. He turns to Gabriele and claims the doge has locked Amelia in the palace and keeps her as his mistress. Paolo leaves him alone in the room. Gabriele does not recognize the lie and is beside himself with rage. He swears revenge on the miscreant. Then Amelia appears in the room. Gabriele confronts her with Paolo's accusations. Amelia swears her loyalty, but cannot yet reveal the secret of her affection for the doge. They hear the doge's steps. At Amelia's urging, Gabriele hides. When the doge appears, Amelia confesses her lover's name to him. Horrified, he hears the name of Gabriele, his mortal enemy. Impossible, says Simon, but Amelia threatens to seek death together with her lover. Thoughtfully, the doge takes a sip from the cup. When the poison begins to take effect and the doge falls asleep, Gabriele comes out of his hiding place with a dagger in his hand. When Amelia intervenes, Bocanegra wakes up and recognizes the enemy. After a short dispute, Bocanegra reveals himself as Amelia's father and now Gabriele understands everything. The doge approaches Gabriele. He recognizes that he has to overcome the trenches, which divided Genoa for so long. Noise comes from the street. Incited by Paolo and Pietro, the followers of the patricians want the doge dead. Gabriele storms out of the house, ready to convince his allies of the doge's innocence. Gabriele was able to calm the rebels, and the doge pardoned them. Only Paolo was sentenced to death. Fiesco, still dressed in the priest's robe, secretly seeks out Paolo and learns about the poison. Fiesco leaves the dungeon and meets the doge, already weakened by the poison. When Fiesco speaks to him and scornfully prophesies his end, Bocanegra recognizes his voice in surprise. Now he wants to take the opportunity to seek reconciliation again 20 years later and tells him the secret of Amelia. Fiesco is overwhelmed by his feelings. Decades of hatred turn into pity for the doge, who is doomed to die, and he tells him about Paolo and the poisoned cup. Gabriele and Amelia join them. Amelia learns that Fiesco is her grandfather and that the two have ended their enmity. They are dismayed to learn of the cup of poison that Simone unknowingly drank, and bid farewell to the doge. When Bocanegra dies, Fiesco announces his death to the people and appoints Gabriele as the new doge. <laughs>